Hello all, welcome back to Current Affairs Hitler series. I'm Guna Madhivanan from Offices IAS Academy. So in today's Hitler's topic, we are going to discuss about black hole. Before understanding about black hole, let me first explain about a star. So a star is a ball of gas, right? Can be hydrogen gas, helium gas. That is called as nebula. Constant nuclear fusion reactions will be going on inside the star, right? These stars over a period, they will exhaust all the fuel and they will be going to the next stage. So a star is a ball of gas, constant nuclear fusion reaction goes on, right? Once the fuel is getting exhausted, it will go to the next phase. What is the next phase? Once the fuel is over, the star will start cooling and the star will expand. That expanding phase of the star is called as red giant. Right? Once a star loses all its fuel, it will start cooling and expanding. That is called as red giant. If it is a very big star, normal star like sun, our sun is a very small star. That sun, when it cools and expands, it is called as red giant. But a very big, very big star, when that is going to cool and expand, it is called as the red supergiant. Now, we are not interested to know about that small star. We will take a big star. So, <coughs> a big star, a big star, once the fuel is exhausted, then it will enter into a red supergiant phase. After this phase, what happens is an explosion. There will be an explosion. That explosion is called as supernova that explosion is called a supernova all right after this explo explosion after this explosion some stars which are really big after the explosion the remains of the star let's assume a building is exploding the remains of the building like that after this explosion supernova is nothing but the explosion after this the remains of the star will compress it will form into neutron star. This compressed remains of the star that will keep spinning. The space it will keep spinning that is called as pulsar. That spin is called as pulsar. Now let us take a very big star. See neutron, this neutron star comes from an explosion. Right? And I am taking the explosion of a big star here. I am taking the explosion of a big star here. Now imagine there is an explosion of a very big star. So what is the first stage? Star is a ball of gas. I am taking a bigger star. When that star loses all its fuel, it enters into a cooling phase where it becomes red supergiant. After that cooling process, you will find explosion. So here I am dividing into two. When a big star explodes, what happens? I have explained. Now when a very big star explodes, let's take even more bigger star. When that is going to explode, it will not explode, rather it will implode, rather it will implode. That means, that means the remains of the star will not explode, rather it will fall within, it will fall within. Just imagine, imagine if there is a building, if it is explodes, it is going to go outward. But if it is implode, it is going to fall inside, everything is going to fall within. For example, just imagine. This is one building. Imagine this as one uh, building. Okay. Now this building, when it is exploding, it is going to blow outward. But when this is going to implode, everything is going to fall within. Everything is going to crush and fall within. You have to imagine that. So that very big star that is going to fall within at one point, everything falls. At one point, everything falls where the volume becomes zero and the density becomes infinite. So a big star that falls inside, it keeps falling inside. It keeps falling inside. At one point, everything would have been fallen. At one point, the volume becomes zero, density becomes infinite, right? So that point is called a singularity. That point is called as singularity. The region around this point, the region around this point, 
will have intense gravitational pull because why density is infinite at this point density is infinite so when the density is so high then it is going to have a very high gravitational force of attraction so let's say you are going for a walk you are here no problem you are here no problem you are here no problem when you come closer to here you will be attracted inside gravitational force will be very intense right so now this point is called a singularity and this border line this border line this border line that is called as event horizon right so only when you cross that border you will be attracted so till this border you will find that intense gravitational attraction right and this region this region so this region where you have that intense gravitational force of attraction that region is called as black hole that region is called as black hole that is the region around that singularity the region around that singularity where you find an intense gravitational pull that is called as black hole clear hope you are getting some clarity on this black hole right so this black hole the concept of black hole in 1916 uh, einstein in the theory of relativity he was explaining about this black hole however in 2019 for the first time the image of the black hole was taken through a telescope called as event horizon telescope for the first time we took the image of the black hole in 2019 through event horizon telescope <coughs> right that black hole that black hole what at a that was at a distance of around 55 million light years right i hope you are getting some idea that is the black hole image we took the image of the black hole in 2019 we took the image of the black hole that black hole image that black hole okay which was from our earth from our earth it was at a distance of 55 million light years now you may ask what is a light year light year is the distance traveled by light in one year what will be the distance i'll tell you in one second light will travel 3 lakh kilometers in one second light will travel 3 lakh kilometers in 2 seconds 6 lakh kilometers in 3 seconds 9 lakh kilometers in one hour in one day in 365 days what would be the distance traveled by light that is light year now here i am saying the black hole image which we took that black hole is at a distance of 55 million light years that is 5 and a half crore light years away from earth right we captured that image in 2019 later we also captured the image of a black hole at the center of our milky way galaxy right our milky way galaxy that is our solar system belongs to milky way galaxy in the middle of the milky way galaxy we have a black hole that image was taken a few years back and that black hole was named as sagittarius a star sagittarius a star so in 2019 we took the image of a black hole which is at a distance of 55 million light years very far very far the 55 million light years away we had a black hole that black hole be it belongs to different galaxy right our own galaxy milky way galaxy our solar system belongs to milky way galaxy inside the milky way galaxy we have a black hole that image was taken right and that black hole was named as sagittarius a star right so if you want to uh, have a comparison between the size of the sagittarius a star and our earth if you want to have a comparison right the sagittarius a star black hole will be roughly 4 million times of our sun one solar mass 
is equal to the mass of sun okay so the sagittarius a star the black hole of our own milky way galaxy which is 4 million solar masses that is it is 4 million times that of our sun that is 40 lakh times that of our sun right i'll give you another interesting factor in 2019 we captured the first black hole image 2019 55 million light years away i said right that black hole is almost 6 billion which is 6 billion solar masses of our sun 6 billion right but the sagittarius a star which i am referring that is 4 million okay just imagine how big a black hole can be how big when a black hole is when a black hole is 1 million times of the sun that is called a supermassive that is called a supermassive so within our galaxy we have a black hole that is 4 million times the top of our sun right that is called a sagittarius a star which is also a supermassive black hole right so I hope you would have got some clarity on this black hole topic. We can go through these slides. So this was the black hole image which we took it in 2019. Right. So how big a black hole can be? It can be similar to that of our sun or it can be million times, billion times than that of our sun. It can be small, it can be big. Right. So yes, so based on our uh, discussion, I have given a multiple choice question. You can find out the right answer and you can give it in the comment section. Alright, so I will see you uh, tomorrow with another interesting topic till then bye. But before that, I see in comments students are asking me to upload the PowerPoint slides. Yes, I will come up with an arrangement very soon from where you can download all the presentations put together. Right? See you tomorrow. Till then, bye. Take care.